Cap Cap is... It was actually made by a friend of a twit, Trey Ratcliffe. He was just on. He's a regular on Mostly Photo. Yeah, he was just on Mostly Photo. Which this, is a new show on the network if, you he, ha- if you're not familiar with it. He's such a sly cove. He was on on Tuesday. He didn't mention that this was coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, so 100 cameras in one for iPad is the official name. And this is, I mean, you could say, hey, oh, gee, another uh, photo filter app. But this is a whole new level. Now, the reason I'm showing you a really, really bad photo of me, this is bad. It's one of the front-facing cameras I took with my iPad in somewhat low light, and it looked really bad, so I just took it of my eye. Now, here are all the (laughs) options that I have. I'm just being honest. It's a bad photo. I look terrible. Here are all the options. I can go through some effects that are already... Are they going to make this picture look good? uh, Well, they're going to make it look better. Different. Different. Better and different. Here are all the... Uh, He's done kind a of nice like job. That Trey I've has used given this on me. the uh, on the iPhone, but he really's taking advantage of the Apple of the iPad's interface. Uh, yeah, and he's got interface. funny titles for everything: soft colors that bleed into the walls, for example. So now I'm starting to oh, look like you know what that does look better. Painting, it does, doesn't it? So these are a bunch of the presets, and I mean, I could scroll through this all day. There are so many; it's kind of overwhelming. In fact, you, know, you can do kind of like a almost a Warhol ish glowy uh, watercolor type you know, of a you thing. Did, you made or, that more interesting, I have to admit. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yep. Now, if you want to say, if you're the kind of person who goes, yeah, I like to have a little bit more control over my photos, here's where you get fun. This is the yin and the yang section. Mm. And what I can do in the yin section is, I've got these little sliders, so you can play around a little bit and you can see that things are changing somewhat. Same thing with yang. Now, I'm not uh, cool enough to understand exactly what's going on here, but, you know, there's sliders, there's contrast, brightness, and those sorts of things are factoring in. But here's where uh, it's even better is that there's a little uh, a dodge, you see, with a little down arrow under yin. If I click that, all of a sudden I've got oh, wow. Look at yet that. more options. I mean, this is almost more than 100 photos in one, really, right. if you were to put all these together. So let's say I go, let's do luminosity rather than dodge. Now, all of a sudden... We're looking luminous. Oh, cool. Look at that photo. It is awesome, That's isn't it? Neat, yeah. I mean, this doesn't even look anything like the picture that I took. It's, it actually looks like I took this picture on purpose. Made it really artsy. In the Yang section, again, overlay, you've got, you've got those options as well. So imagine, talk about stats, all the mathematical uh, variations that you could make over this picture. Now, you can take photos from your library and import them in. That makes a lot of sense. By the way, when you first download 100 Cameras in One, because it is two ninety nine, so it's not free, he does give you some extras. Trey does. Uh, for example, there are five really beautiful photos I love his that backgrounds. are automatically yep. imported into your yep. library that yep. then you can play around with. They're gorgeous, high-def photos. I know where this is from. It's from Angkor Wat. I've been there. Uh, beautiful stuff where then you can look through filters and get a sense of all the different ways that you can manipulate these photos. You can also explore through a lot of his tips. Um, he Trey, Trey is... Uh, very amazing photographer, so he's the kind of person who's got a lot of tutorials. He, he's, he's a great teacher. Yeah, he links out to his website. Really he's a got, great teacher. Yeah, so he, it's definitely worth checking out. A lot of photo apps don't give you anything like that. I mean, they okay. give you the tools to do stuff, but they don't actually help you get any better. And then, of course, you can actually take a photo from the app itself. I'm looking away from us, but I'll go ahead and use my front-facing camera. So I'm looking towards oh, us, and then just take a nice picture from within the app. Yeah, and it kind of it's it's got a cool little interface. Ah! And then I can take that photo and manipulate it to my heart's desire. I love 100 cameras. Great app, brand new from Trey Ratcliffe. Three dollars in the app store. Somebody photo bombed your picture. <laughs> I photo some guy, myself. some guy in a baseball cap. <laughs> Photo bombed you there. <laughs> I don't know who who's photo bombing who. In yeah, that maybe picture. you're photo bombing me. Who's zooming who? Yeah. Anyway, no, I'm Leo. glad we could plug that because Trey is the nicest guy in the world. He's awesome. The funniest thing is he was on mostly photo on Tuesday. He didn't even mention that his iPad version of his what uh, a app is coming out. Yeah. So uh, well worth two ninety nine. It Absolutely. should certainly be in your uh, camera bag.